Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, apps for movement and brain breaks. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin. And my name is Ashley Roki. And this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today we're going to be talking about apps that will help with movement and brain breaks in the classroom. All right, so let's okay. start. Okay, I'll start with the first app that I have. It's called Brain Break. Mm -hmm. And this app is very simple, but um, I, th I think it has lots of good things mm -hmm. that you could use in your classroom. So when you come to the first page here, you just see that there's various uh, categories to choose from. So yeah. you can do movement exercises. Let's check that out. And it will come up with um, different exercises you could do. So we'll just go under movements, mm -hmm. and you can see there's several yeah. different movements you can do. And if you click on it, it'll just give you... Bend and stretch, and I need that right now. Yep. So just gives you um, instructions on what to have your students do. You could either project this on the screen, mm -hmm. or you could just have it and tell your students what to do. So, and then there's also thinking exercises. So uh -huh. not only do you get the movement, but you get the actual brain break where mm -hmm. they can, so some brain teasers and you can just hit this button up here and it'll give you several. Okay. Um, so it's different ideas for getting their brain thinking differently mm -hmm. and movement. So it's different ways to really disrupt the routine right. and make sure they're awake and right. going. Uh, what is a mega break exercise? I'm kind of intrigued by the that. The mega break is where you try to do as many as you can in three minutes. Oh, okay. So you would cycle through them with your class to see how many that they mm -hmm. could get through. All so right. it's like sp spin in a controlled circle five times to your left. So that okay. would be very interesting to see in the classroom. Yes, and it's a good <laughs> directional thing as right. well. So remembering this side is left, not the other side and all of that. So, so there's lots of interesting activities. Okay. Right. And relaxation, which is nice too, because you mm -hmm. don't often think of that with your students. You just want to get them up and moving. But a lot of the times, relaxation techniques could work well with yeah, Especially and with certain students. Yeah, with some students and sometimes if they're coming and they're really energized after a recess, recess or something like or this lunch. and you want to bring them back mm -hmm. and focus them, that could work uh, even better than getting right. them up and around. So lots of variations, getting to know your students would really help here. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Okay, and the next thing I have is actually a website mm -hmm. and it's um, gonoodle.com. And so when you, um, and I'm already signed into my account, but mm -hmm. when you come to the home page, you'll be able to sign up for an account. It'll let you um, choose whether you're a teacher or a student. Um, then you can set up several different classes within okay. your profile. So I just created a little second grade class here. And this works throughout the spectrum uh, from preschool all the way mm -hmm. through elementary. So uh, lots of activities, very cute. You can get points and you evolve, I think. Right, the creatures yeah. evolve you, as you go. There's like 12 different characters, I mm -hmm. believe. And you, so you start with one character and as you do more, the character grows and you move on to a new character. And, and I saw kids and they were really excited mm -hmm. about how the character grows and they wanted to do one more, so maybe they'll get one more growth. Right. So. So when you hit play here, you can see it mm -hmm. brings you to cha or channels, excuse me, mm -hmm. and very, like, a wide variety of, let's do indoor recess. I haven't done this one yet. So when you click on a category, it'll bring you to several mm -hmm. chillaxing around town. All right. Happy ninjas. Hmm. <laughs> We're not sure what this is. <laughs> We're so. not. Indoor recess two. But as you see, you just project this on your screen and yeah. students. And if you have a, an Apple TV like we do, mm -hmm. that would work really well. Yes, sir. I got a mashup of a whole bunch of Go Noodle videos and games. Y'all stand up and move along. Get I got to move it. Let's get started with a warm up. Champs aren't afraid to sweat, so y'all circle your arms and dry your pits. Hit some air in there with little arm circles. Circle. Little arm circles. Little arm circles, so like this. <laughs> All right. Okay, so it just goes through like that, but, um, and then it'll show you mm -hmm. that your character's 
growing, growing as as you do the exercises right and what i like about this is it says how many minutes it is mm -hmm. so you can actually plan and say i need a two minute break right. or if it's really inside mm -hmm. recess which we have a lot during the winter right. it's a great way to do this because often in inside recess they play inside games which is fantastic but they need some energy out mm -hmm. and this is a way to do to get that energy out and uh, motivate them to do this with the music and the activities and the directions coming from the board. So it gives us a break as teachers yeah. and it gives uh, them a break from just focusing on sitting down and doing things. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, the last one that I want to talk about is actually called PE Games and this is part of a bigger app and you can buy the full, uh, the full PE Games app. Um, and I think that's a 9.99 app, so it's quite expensive. But there is a free version, and that free version comes with quite a bit. So what you can see here is that the PE Games actually shows a whole variety of games. They're organized by category. Mm -hmm. So you can look at cooperative games, and you have something like Shipwrecked. I don't know what that game is, but what I love about this is it tells you the area you mm. need to be in a basketball court and what equipment do you need. So this is actually quite intensive from a, an equipment perspective. Mm -hmm. You want to prepare. But if you want to start something simpler, you can go to general games and go to box soccer, any uh, indoor court area. You need cones and soft soccer balls or Nerf balls. Any balls would probably work and then you get instruction and if there are variations, variations. So you can actually get some interesting ideas for what you can play depending on the area you have inside or outside and it has both. And that way, if you do have to do resets uh, that is more organized or mm -hmm. if you have to teach PE, now in, in Nebraska most of us have PE teachers, mm -hmm. Uh, who focus on that, and they can use this. But uh, I came from California, and California elementary teachers had to teach PE as well with their class. So this is a great idea when you, don't, when you want to do something new or you want to uh, have variations on a theme, this is a great place to go and get lots of ideas. And if you really don't know what to do, there's even a random button. So you can press a random button and it gives you, and this is three-legged tag, and <laughs> uh, just bands and a surface to run on, mm -hmm. you connect the kids and you go. And so this is another way to really get things uh, going. Uh, and you can actually start writing your lessons, so you can add lessons as you go and add it to this uh, larger uh, app. And so you accumulate the things you're interested in and the things you like the most. So this is called PE Games. And it's a great resource. The free version has quite a bit. The full version has uh, literally mm -hmm. hundreds of, mm -hmm. of potential games. Um, I'm not sure we have enough time to play hundreds of games, but maybe we do. Um, so today on iPads in the Classroom, we talked about movement and brain breaks. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.